Okay, so what are some things you discovered about a quadratic relation? Look at the equations. What did you notice about the equations? What do they have to have in the equation in order for it to be a U-shaped curve? A what? A square. It has to have an X squared term. You notice that? All of those had an X squared term. When we looked at linear relations, they didn't have an X squared term, they were straight lines. If it has an X squared term, you automatically know it's going to be a parabola. It's going to be a U shaped symmetrical curve, okay? <clears throat> it has a degree of two. That means that the largest exponent will always be a two. If it has x to the power of three, which somebody mentioned, no, that will not give you a u-shaped curve. Try it in Desmos right now. Anytime you have a quadratic equation, the graph will always be a parabola. That's the name. This is the name of the graph. It's called a parabola, okay? What are some things you notice about the parabolas? And we, we, we explored this in Desmos, okay? So you were asked to put in y equals x squared in Desmos and y equals negative x squared. What was the difference between the two? What did you notice? <clears throat> one of them had a positive coefficient of x squared, so I can put a positive one here. And one of them had a negative in front of it. How did these differ? What was different about this? Excellent. One of them was facing up. I want you to copy this down. And if it had a negative in front of it, it was facing down. So one of them opens up and one of them opens down. Anytime there's a negative in front of the x squared term, it only works if that's in front of the x squared term. That tells you <clears throat> the direction of opening. Okay, so whatever is in front of the x squared term will always tell you the direction that it opens. Does it open up or does it open down? Okay, so we looked at graphs where the number in front of the x squared was greater than 1, right? We punched in numbers that were greater than 1. Anytime I increased the value more than 1, what happened to the shape of the parabola? Did it get skinnier or did it get wider? Look at your graph. They all got skinnier. They were stretched. Okay, they became stretched. They got skinnier. Then I gave you two examples. I gave you numbers between. 0 and 1. Shh. So decimals or fractions. I gave, you, I gave you numbers that were between 0 and 1. I just picked random decimals. What happened to the parabola <clears throat> when the number in front of x squared, so the coefficient of x squared, was a decimal? What happened to the parabola? It gets wider. Thank you. It's compressed. Okay, you need to know these words. So, play around with it on Desmos. Think of a number, you guys tell me, what's a number that's greater than one? Let's test it out. What's a number greater than one? Give me a really large number. We've, we did three and 200, okay? We're gonna type in y equals 200 x squared. We're gonna see if it's super skinny. What's a number between zero and one? Give me a decimal or a fraction that we didn't use. Zero, we already did that one. Zero point zero one. That should be really wide. Let's, let's test it out on Desmo. <clears throat> if you look here, the green one is called the parent function, okay? Y equals X squared. When we're talking about if it's skinnier or wider, we're always comparing it to, think of that like the original one. So we came up with the number that was larger than one. So you guys said 200. I, I plugged it into the equation. And look at the parabola. Is it really skinny? Is it skinnier? Yeah. Yes, it's way skinnier than the parent function, right? This, pardon? This is the parent function. And if it has a number greater than one, look at the parabola. It becomes way skinnier. If it was a decimal, so any decimal, it could be a fraction, it could be a decimal, it becomes way wider. 
than the parent function, than this one, right? Than the original. This is the parent function. Okay, does that make sense? Try some other equations and see. This is wider.